Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top beautiful, spring day in February here in this undisclosed swamp uh, on this gorgeous Tuesday morning. It is February 23rd, 2021, I suppose. So, you know, being a chronicler of the collapse of a planet, it, 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 it's gotten it has gotten a lot easier. My job becomes easier every day. I can just pretty much now throw a dart into the mainstream media news. Several versions of this, and some of you have actually sent me this article as well about talking about the collapse of freshwater fish. I don't know, are the choppers coming to get me for chronicling the collapse of civilization? Do we have the police state gearing up for Mad Max here in the swamp. Anyway, you know, all of this talk about the collapse of ocean fisheries, it's actually, uh, Manga Bay has been talking about this for quite some time, that it is freshwater fish that are actually, in many ways, more doomed than saltwater fish and uh, so we have a new report there's many versions of this we're just going to go with the guardians version uh, which is a little bit uh, you know tilted towards uh, the UK of course being the guardian but anyway take it away guardian and explain this to us Global fresh freshwater fish populations at risk of extinction study finds the world's forgotten fishes report. The world's forgotten fishes report lists pollution, overfishing, and climate change as dangers. Otherwise known as the world's forgotten fishers report lists humans humans and humans as the dangers to uh, to the freshwater fish and everybody else. So just so you understand the three top reasons that the forgotten fishes are going extinct, the top three reasons, humans, humans, and humans. Now that we've edited the Guardian, let's get, let's hear what this story is all about. All right. Freshwater fish are under threat with as many as one-third of global populations now in danger of extinction, according to an assessment. Populations of migratory freshwater fish, you know, like salmon, those guys. Populations of migratory freshwater fish have plummeted by 76% since 1970 and large fish, those weighing more than 30 kilograms, that's a little less than 100 pounds, have been all but wiped out in most rivers. The global population of these mega fish down by 94%, 94% of the big boys uh, have headed into oblivion and 16 freshwater fish species were declared extinct last year alone. The report by 16 global conservation organizations titled The World's Forgotten Fishes said that global populations of freshwater fish were in free fall or are in free fall. The problems are diverse and include humans, humans, and humans. Uh, the introduction of invasive non-native species by the biggest uh, non-native uh, species on the planet, humans, humans, and humans. Okay, actually what that said, the report says the list of problems are diverse and include pollution, overfishing, and destructive fishing practices, the introduction of invasive non-native species, climate change, 
and the disruption of river ecologies, most of the world's rivers are now dammed in parts, have water extracted from them for irrigation, or have their natural flows disrupted, making life difficult for freshwater fish. And then they look particularly at the, uh, at the United Kingdom, but uh, you can take this and spread it all over the planet, probably compared to a lot of the planet, the UK is probably looking good. The poor state of UK rivers means few support as many as, as many fish as would be possible if they were better protected. According to the World Wildlife Fund, one of the groups behind Tuesday's report, environment agency data show last year that not one, not one uh, English river met the highest chemical standards and only 15% of UK rivers were rated as having good ecological status. Farm pollution and sewage outflows were among the leading causes of damage, at, you know, at least in the UK, although again, uh, true for anywhere on the planet. David Tickner, World Wildlife Fund's chief advisor on freshwater, said, quote, freshwater habitats are some of the most vibrant on Earth, but they are in catastrophic decline. The UK is no exception. Wildlife struggles to survive, let alone thrive, in our polluted waters, close quote. Let's look at salmon. Salmon, which spend part of their life cycle in freshwater ecosystems, have been in sharp decline in the UK and the US since the 1960s, and the European eel is now critically endangered. Some fish called a burbot and sturgeon are now totally extinct in UK waters and the, the outlook for sturgeon, the few sturgeon left in the US are of course screwed. Um, the Guardian revealed the extent of sewage outflows into rivers last year. Water companies discharge sewage into rivers 200,000 times in England alone in 2019. World Wildlife Fund called on the UK government to back an emergency recovery plan for rivers uh -huh, and waterways as part of its wider biodiversity and nature recovery targets. You know, we've talked about these bio, biodiversity targets where not one single bio, global biodiversity target has ever been met at the United Nations. Yes, uh, governments around the world are meeting this year to discuss biodiversity in halting the destruction of the Earth's natural habitats. Oh yes, um, said Tickner, quote, if we are to take the government's environmental promises seriously, uh-huh, it must get its act together, clean up our rivers, and restore our freshwater habitats to good health. That means proper enforcement of existing laws, strengthening protections in the environment bill to put UK nature on the path to recovery, and championing a strong set of global targets for recovery of nature, including rivers." Close quote. The report found that biodiversity in freshwater ecosystems was being lost at twice the rate of oceans, twice the rate of oceans and forests. 
there are more than 18,000 species of freshwater fish known and more are still being discovered. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature, which compiles the global red list of species in danger, has assessed more than 10,000 species and found that about 30% are now at risk of extinction. And my guess is that uh, depending on what your definition of risk of extinction is, uh, I'm sure 30% of the world's freshwater species were at risk of extinction years ago. You, you know, so, I, so I've never really understood this. So, uh, okay, so 16 species were declared extinct last year. 16 species. So now the 30% of species facing extinction, does it include the 16% that were declared extinct last year? Are, are, are you following me? So, so each year the, the global pie of our fellow earthlings shrinks more and more and so they declare those species extinct and then they talk about what percentage of species are facing extinction but now the species that are already been sent into oblivion are not are, are not counted in the math they're just uh, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, are, are you following me where this, uh, where this flawed accounting system uh, is going? <clears throat> but anyway, it is an absolutely gorgeous day <clears throat> in the threatened freshwater swamp uh, here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. And I should probably get out there and enjoy some of my freshwater ecosystems while I still can, and I highly advise you to do the same. But I don't want you to get too close to the freshwater ecosystems because the alligator population uh, is one of the success stories. There is no shortage of alligators in the freshwater ecosystem surrounding me and the little dog right now. Bye guys.